Okay, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I wanted to share something really interesting, uh, something that happened to me at the course when I play a tournament. Um, as you know, I have this Mevo, and what I did is I dial in all my distances really good, like, you know, my pitching wedge, 9 iron, 8 iron, 7 iron, etc. And I felt really good about it. And what happened is when I played a tournament, uh, my distances were 10% more. So basically, my, like my 7 iron, I normally carry, according to this, 145 to 155. When I went, um, when I, in this tournament, I uh, was carrying like 155 to 165. So it was 10% uh, more for some reason. And in my opinion, what it is, is that um, it's not going to be the same uh, here when I hit my, um, my net, a balls to my net, or even a screen. Or even the range because in my range I don't really have a, a target uh, you know it's not a green when you play the course you get that one shot so you know that you have to hit that shot well so you're gonna put that extra effort to hit that shot and by doing that you know if you if you make that extra effort and you hit it well it's gonna carry more for sure so it's not gonna be like here where I get shot after shot I just keep practicing and you're thinking you know I'm dialing in my distances, but in reality, you know, I'm just getting used to that swing that I know that I have another ball that I can hit. So that's not gonna be the same. Because if you sit here and I say, I have one shot, let's see how much I can carry. Uh, I can assure you that you're gonna, you're gonna hit it farther because you only have that one chance. So what I think is that uh, players are gonna fall into, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, so it's not proven, but I think you're going to fall in two categories. One, that it's going to be like me, where you just uh, practice, uh, get your launch monitor or whatever you have, and you get used to the distances, and then you stick to that. And then when you go to the course, obviously, think about it, you only have one shot, so you're going to put more effort to it, and what happens, you're going to, get it, you're going to hit it farther. So there's no doubt about that. Um, and that's, that falls in my category. And I think there's other people who is the opposite. They, uh, they hit it, maybe if they hit it a little closer to the net, I think, or to the screen when they're playing a the simulator. Like they get over here and they know they have nothing to lose here. So they just whack it. I mean, they don't care where the ball is going to go because you know that the net is going to stop it. So there's just an unlimited time, you know, speed that you can just hit it. You know, even if you're in the range, you're not going to do it because you can, who knows where you're going to send that ball to. So. And sometimes they, a lot of people hit it really well, you know, they're really comfortable and they're going to just whack it. And this is where you see, I think, uh, seven irons, like 190, 180. And those same people, when they get to the course, they don't do the same. They, don't, they can't replicate that because it's totally different. It's a different environment. Even if the simulator tells you, you know, you did hit that 180 and it was straight. So I had about uh, 120 yards to the green uh, when I played my competition. 120 yards, I grab my nine iron, and, which is something that I normally easily get there. Um, and what happened, I completely flew the green. I mean, to the back, it was like 135. So I must have hit like 140, 145 with a nine iron. Uh, it wasn't downhill, I can assure you. And, uh, and it wasn't, I didn't think the ball or anything like that. So a nine iron that I was not used to hitting that far. I, I caught it well. But, uh, and then there was another shot too, where it was uh, my, what was it, my seven iron yet, that it was like 150, and um, no, 145, exactly, 145 to the green. So I say, oh, 145, use my seven iron. Uh, I know that uh, in my uh, launch monitor, I can get there with 145. And this was actually a little uphill. I hit my seven iron and I, I just passed it again way past the green to the back uh, so i carry that like 160 say because to the back of the green it was like 158 or something so again um i know a lot of people are going to say hey you got to look at the weather conditions and stuff like that but i'm sure it was a practice when i test my launch monitor here you know is sometimes it's colder warmer and i always get consistent um shots with it so i'm sure that you know, the way I think is that it's just the amount of effort that you put, you know, because you can't compare a shot that you have when, you are, you, when you're at the course, that you have one shot, like say on a part three, you have one tee shot. You can't compare that shot to 
to just a practice shot that you hit in the in your backyard or at the range it's not going to be the same you know you're going to put extra time you're going to make sure that you hit it well so so that that's going to be a complete different distance in my opinion so this so. is just my opinion it's nothing it's not proven obviously but uh this is just based on the the unit that i use mebo and uh, i'm telling you i was certain of my distances with this and uh, when i got to the to play at the course it was 10 percent more so it was completely a surprise for me and uh, it wasn't just me that goes through this because i know some people that have the same issues that they, when they get in the simulator they uh physically they just can't um can't swing full it's just because you know you're in a close environment uh and it's just like mentally you can't really release the club completely because uh, it doesn't feel right so i know for a fact um there is this uh this guy um make sure to check out his channel is um golf metal i put i put the link um in here and basically what he said that he went to uh to have a, a driver fitting and what happened is like he couldn't get you know his swing speed was like much less than what he normally does at the course uh, he was mentally blocked basically and i think that happens to a lot of people uh, including myself and so you just have to be careful i guess when you're working with uh, simulators or raiders because those distances again i'm not doubting the technology but i'm just doubting the your your mind the way you're hitting those shots are not going to be realistic so it, they're either going to be like super long where you just like don't care and just rip it and uh, or they're going to be like me where you just kind of hold back and uh, then when you get to the course it's obviously going to be different because in the course like I said before, you get that one shot, so you, you know that you want to get that shot really good. So that ball is going to be, that shot is going to be much better. And because of that, you're going to carry more. So I guess just be aware of that. Uh, but then again, it's just my opinion. I don't know if, it, if something like this happened to you guys when, you, um, when you're, uh, you know, getting fitted or use a launch radar or a simulator. But anyway, something to keep in mind, I think, because it is quite important. Because if you're, you know, you're practicing with a with a radar or a monitor uh, or a um, launch monitor, uh, you know, you're gonna you think that you're gonna hit this distances and then you get out to the course and it's gonna be completely different. So it's not gonna be good at all. So for me, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add a little extra. I'm gonna know that um, if, for instance, this tells me that I carry 145 to 155, I know that in the course it's gonna be a little bit higher. So that's all I'm gonna do for next time and uh also mentally that's going to help me because if i have like 160 i can actually think well you know if i hit a good seven hour i can carry that i can get there so instead of saying like oh 160 no i have to hit i have to get a six iron for sure you know and then that's what happened uh when i play and with a six iron i just passed it so anyways so that's just my opinion uh let me know in the comments if anything like this have ever happened to you guys thanks for watching until next time